made about 20 of these and I thought they're so easy I'm going to show everyone else how to do it because they are quite good. You can guarantee if I'm doing it live then something's going to go wrong. Anyway we're going to give it a go. So 20 of what? 20 masks. Uh, there's lots of hospitals out there that are asking for donations of handmade masks. There's lots of voluntary organisations that are doing outreach work, delivering in the community. They too are asking for disposable masks because obviously PPE is in very short supply at the moment. So this morning I thought I'd have a go at making uh, some masks, see how easy it was. And as I say, it was quite simple. So I thought what I'd do is do a live to show you just how easy it is. And hopefully some of you will give it a go and... Uh, donate your makes to the people that need it most so what do you need you need a piece of material uh this is about i should say about nine inches oh better do it in metric hang on uh about 24 centimeters long by about 19 and a half centimeters um and a couple of bits of elastic again let's do it in metric uh they are about i suppose 13 centimetres long each piece. Um, each mask has taken me a lot less than 10 minutes now and given that in, I'm doing them on a 110 year old sewing machine that's not bad so please bear with me as well because uh, the machine is getting on a bit. Anyway let's make a start. So turn your material face to face inside out this is basically an offcut of a pair of curtains that I took up and the regulations are saying uh, to make them two slices, two pieces of material. Uh, obviously they're not medical grade masks, nobody's saying they are, but they will offer a level of protection, um, especially if you're out delivering food or for example if you're in the supermarket and you go to touch your face for any reason, just reminds you that it's probably not a good idea. So. To make a start, you start about in the middle of what will be the bottom of your mask and just sew to the corner, sorry about the noise, okay, when you get to the corner, just before you get there, if you take a piece of elastic and just basically tuck it right into the corner so that as you pass, you'll catch that bit of elastic. So, catch that. Now, I do have the ability to reverse on this, but because it's an old machine and it needs a service, it's probably not the best idea. So I'm just going to spin it round like that, leaving my needle in place. Okay, so once you've gone up one side, come up the end, all the way up to the top. Just before you get to the top, have a circle inside and find your piece of elastic. This is the only fiddly bit and it's not even that fiddly. And just pull it up a little bit so that you can catch the edge of it in the corner between the material again as you come up past it. Okay, so just lights on out. Back up. Okay, and then sew across the top. All the way along the top. Just before you get to the edge, you find the bit of elastic that you drop and you put the light on. inside the edge again again making sure that as you pass that you're definitely going to catch that elastic and again as you get to the edge come down the side all the way down Just before you get to the bottom, have a good circle around, grab your piece of elastic and again just pop it in place in the corner 
so that as you pass it will catch. Do a couple of reverses over it just to make sure. And then what we need to do is leave a gap so that we can turn it the right way round. So leave a, about a couple of inches gap, don't need any more. So when you get to that, just reverse again to finish it off. Okay, and that's the basis of your mask. Cut it and then just turn it all the right way around through the gap. You don't have to be particularly neat. I'm not the most patient sewer in the world. Um, but I'm going with every little helps at this point. You can Google uh, various different patterns and you can also Google what local organisations and hospitals are asking you to donate the masks um, and so that they go to the place that is going to make the most difference. Okay, so that was your gap that was at the bottom. So all we're going to do now, I'm going to have to say this on the other side. So it's not going to be quite as simple to see, but it's all good. Okay, so because we want an absolutely professional finish, obviously, just run a line all the way along the bottom. around the side basically all you're going to do is make three little pleats so we're going to do one and we're going to go over it okay and then we're going to catch the next one with a little pleat If you know anyone that's working in a supermarket, um, you could maybe even do them a couple up because they're going to need the protection as well. And if it means that the medical profession gets to keep all the medical grade ones, so much the better. Okay, so you've done three little pleats there. Just going to sew all the way along the, the, the next edge. a little bit easier because the pleats are already there on the other side for you so you're just matching them up if you wanted to you could pin the pleats um, but I'm not that precise of a sewer and uh, I prefer a wing in it <laughs> okay so we go to the next pleat okay and then finally just going to have to lift that foot. The last pleat. Okay, and just to make sure that they are absolutely spot on, just do another run all the way around the edge of the mask. So, just catch in there. But off knot just to be sure Bob's your uncle fun is your aunt there you have a homemade face mask just tidying up the edges and 
and I made about 10 of these this morning and distributed through around the neighbours and they're all very very grateful so yeah get making find out where you can donate them or if nothing else just share amongst your friends and neighbours I'm sure they'll appreciate it good luck